was born in 1974, and let me tell you, I remember listening to Yacht Rock firsthand as a kid. That includes Christopher Cross, Al Jarreau, Steely Dan, the Doobie Brothers, and the first mate of Yacht Rock himself, Mr. Kenny Loggins. One of the great progenitors of this genre, Kenny led the way with a series of albums, including 1979's Keep the Fire and 1982's High Adventure. The latter of which, in my humble opinion, contains the greatest Yacht Rock bass line ever. Heart to Heart was the second single released from this album in November of 1982. It was written by the holy trinity of Yacht Rock, Loggins, David Foster, and Michael McDonald. There are only a few sections to the tune, beginning with an intro section that is clearly borrowing from funk music. This bass line stands out for a couple of reasons. First, a ton of it is being doubled by the left hand of the piano. And secondly, the fills that are being thrown in in between the phrases are ridiculous. This leads us into the second section of the tune, the verse. Dig those staccato quarter notes happening in the bass, along with the four on the floor drumming. It's bouncing, it's building, and again, with the bass fills. Also of note is the sound of the 1973 Mark I Fender Rhodes electric piano, the voice of Yacht Rock. The four measure pre-chorus, an essential element of Yacht Rock. The drum groove changes, and the harmony, which has been built mainly around these two chords, uses this cool little turnaround to lead us into the chorus. Ah, the chorus is definitely the most composed part of the tune. And again, since the line is being doubled, you have to be really dialed in. Dig the jazz like chromaticism in the line. And the complexity of the rhythm. We're getting the best of both worlds on this track. Loose filled in playing and precise unison playing. It's so well done. And the basis on this track that's holding it all together is Derek Jackson. Originally from Cleveland, Ohio, he studied with the great jazz bassist Richard Davis and has a long list of credits, including Al Jarreau, the Jazz Crusaders, 
Ray Parker Jr., and Bloodstone, among others. He's been living and playing in Japan since 1984. Pound for pound, you will not find another Yacht Rock bass line like this one. Like the genre itself, it's borrowing elements of funk and pop and R&B and even a little bit of jazz. And Derek Jackson is doing everything a bassist hopes to do. He's nailing everything with a great tone and a great feel, and he's making it sound easy. What's your favorite Yacht Rock bass line? Let me know in the comments. And if you're seeing this, Mr. Jackson, we see you, we hear you, and we love it. Thank you.